This video is brought to you by my website, aeroparts.com, high quality, genuine parts. This is my friend's car, and this video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. This is going to be a diagnostic video, and it's going to be a two-part series. This video is going to be the diagnosis, the second video is going to be the repair, and I'm going to load the second video with as much information as possible, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that second video because you're going to really want to see that. You're going to need to see it, actually. This car had a ton of issues, like every code under the sun, and it was idling rough, it had a lack of power, and it had so many error codes that I had to eventually just erase them and start over with the most recent fresh codes. Make sure to check this video out and make sure to stick around for the second video, which you're really going to want to see. It, it runs, it it still feels good right now. I did feel the idle off though. I don't know. Light, so. <laughs> right. I don't get it. I'm First go I was thinking control. cat too, because like sometimes when the cat starts to get dirty and clogged, it'll bog out like that. Too. Sometimes, yeah, that's actually, a, that is a symptom. Right, that's why I was like, oh, it's gotta be this. That's why I went to the intake. I was like, wait a minute. Because then all of a sudden the boilers popped into my head. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, that's a huge misfire. But watch. Oh, yeah. What makes me think it's not a misfire is if I cover that intake. Cover the intake? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead and cover it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That? I'm not kidding. Let go of it. Give it a second. I think it's air fuel. I don't think it's a misfire, dude. Yeah, that does sound really too bad. Oh, this is easy. I remember I was messing with yeah. it. Oh, it's deep. All you do is push. Yeah, other oh, way. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. You said it runs smooth when it's um, cold and then it like starts to sputter or yeah, like you starts know, to... when the idle first starts to come down. It's not technically. Yeah. yeah. So here. manifold air pressure sensor performance. Okay. Uh, circuit um, low voltage sensor one oxygen sensor fuel trim system lean misfire detected air intake air system performance. The hood first. So Which part did you, you removed all this and then you uh um... Yeah, it's, it's still off. I just put it back okay. in there because I closed the hood. But I'll just, you know, take it and cover it. I'll leave like a V. Yeah. Kind of move my finger around to see like, you know, more and less air. And it runs better with less air. The same codes. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but 
it's utterly awful. Very terribly right now. But the current okay. Or it's you know, you could tell there's something wrong with the idol. Take airflow performance. There has to be a leak somewhere in there. That's what I'm suspecting. Oh, this has been curled up for so long. It doesn't always want to spin the way you want it to. <laughs> I've noticed. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me make sure this thing is not sticking into into the blade. Okay, go for it. Just for a second, just want to verify it spins. That's it. Oh yeah, that's good. See smoke right there? Do you? Yeah. Look right there. Oh, we have a problem. I think you so, found it. Let's see if I tighten it more. It's tight already. I took it off, put it back on, and tightened it. Uh, just a um. No, it's just a flathead actually. Maybe it just didn't seat right? It looks alright. I don't see any, any cracks or holes. Maybe it didn't seat. Maybe I didn't seat it right when I put it back on. Well, yeah, but that wouldn't have been the whole, the whole time, though. Because it was like like that. Oh, what is oh, this? Oh, that's what seals it. See that? As soon as yeah. you popped it out, you can see daylight in there. Now it's on securely. Let's see here. Let me push this on and tighten it up really, really nice and, and run this oh. test again. Oh, there you go. Make sure I don't kick it. Yeah. Put it on right for that moment because it's smoking now. Yeah. So that's not see it. it. It's still smoking though. Yeah, huh? It's still smoking right on the backside here. Put the block right yeah. there. Huh. Oh. There's nothing's coming up from below it. It's all tight on there. And see, you know, I watch. If I let go. Oh, what? You see that? Yeah, it's a new hose. That's so weird that it doesn't look like it's worn or anything, though, but I mean. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that the part that goes around it isn't. Maybe I didn't put this on right or not, nah, probably. Now while the intake hose was leaking and it was replaced, it didn't do much to change the way the engine was behaving. We then turned our attention to the PCV diaphragm and I went on to learn all about the GM 1.4 Ecotech PCV system and the issues that are very, very common. We're going to go over it in the next video, so stay tuned.